This 3 News Now update sponsored by Godfather's Pizza. Order today. I'm Maya Sines with 3 News Now, here to look at what's happening now. Unemployment benefit claims are picking up again, but only slightly. 412,000 people filed for unemployment last week. This is the first time since April that claims have risen. But economics are optimistic that hiring will catch up with worker demand soon. The country still has a 7.5 million fewer jobs than it did before the pandemic. With these extreme temperatures outside, using your air conditioner is pretty much unavoidable, but there are some ways to make sure it doesn't run all day long. Now, there's no magic temperature to set your thermostat at, but raising it a degree or two can save anywhere from 3 to 5 percent of energy. Make sure all windows are covered with blinds or curtains, even the ones not facing the sun. And I'm 3 News Now meteorologist Chris Swaim. 74 degrees overnight and into Friday morning. So it's another warm start to the day, but that'll be just ahead of a cold front that arrives that will bring some relief from the extreme heat on Friday. It still gets to 94 degrees. It will still be hot, no doubt about that, but better than 105 than what we saw on Thursday. Some scattered rain early. Uh, hopefully beneficial rain for most. There's the potential that some of these storms could be on the strong side, but I'm hoping the severe potential stays low. It looks low. 94 Friday, 92 on Saturday. From scattered rain chances to isolated to scattered. Great for weekend plans, but again, this drought starting to build a little bit here. Now, here's a look at the full seven day forecast. Not a typo, 95 to 78 on Monday. Partly cloudy skies, gradually warming back up midweek. 80, 85, 88 by Thursday. Another scattered rain chance, partly cloudy skies by then. Godfather's Pizza's Taco Pies got a new sidekick. Cinnamon sugar churro bites. Add your favorite one topping pizza and you've got my new taco feast with churro bites. Godfather's Pizza, do it.